Good morning. It is market day. It is 7.30. The event starts at 9. It'll take me about 20 minutes to get there and 10 minutes to figure out where the heck I'm going. So leave me about an hour to set up, which is fine. I don't have the amount of stuff that I typically have and I honestly don't know if I'm going to bring in all of my shelves or just my table and my shelf. Um, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I will try and vlog a little bit and see how today goes and I will update you guys throughout, throughout the event and hopefully get a little footage of what it looks like. There is over 130 vendors which is which is crazy this is probably one of the bigger events i've done and most of the other events are canceled around me because of the rain um yeah so we will see how it goes hopefully the rain won't keep people away they will want to come since it's inside um but you know rain makes people want to not want to go anywhere so we will see how it goes um they do have food trucks they have santa some laser tag it's all indoors so hopefully that draws the the, the folks in nearby um but yeah i'm gonna get going and i'll see you soon so i just ran in to grab a little christmas tree and a little house there just to decorate my booth a little bit i do have some bows and a like one dollar garland that i'm gonna just throw up there um but i saw my i have a little santa letterbox thing and i thought how cute would that be if I set up a little thing and they can write what they want for Christmas like if there's any other kids nearby so I think I'm gonna do that for my next event um maybe print off um some cute little papers um yeah so I, I just thought that'd be a cute idea that I'd share and then the little kids can mail them to Santa you know um but yeah see you soon This is the room that I am in. I wasn't supposed to be in here. Um, they have a laser tag. There's a whole gym in there that's full. And then in the hallway. Vendors through the hallway, and then there's a gymnasium back there that's full. You got Santa up there. It's crazy. And then there's food trucks outside. Hi everyone, so it is Wednesday night. I have not really wanted to uh, move off the couch. <laughs> I've just been lazy. Um, I've been crocheting just on the couch versus in my office in my computer chair. This room gets super cold in my house, so I don't know, at, at the end of the night, I just wanna bundle up. Um, but anyhow, I have a market review um, that I'm gonna go over and, I, you guys let me know would you like to have one longer video or would you rather have a what I brought all on its own and then having a market breakdown vlog if I can get any footage during a market in a essentially a part two or would you like just one longer video I know I like to crochet and watch longer videos all in one go so I don't know you guys let me know. Um, like my next market, I probably am only going to have like 10 or 15 things um, to show uh, because where is it? I've been working on finalizing my pattern for my mirror hanger chicken. Um, I showed this in my no sew video. This will be a no sew pattern. You just have to um, stitch around the arms. Um, but the arms are already on or the wings, I should say. Um, but I'm working on finalizing this. I sold my, well, my original one is in my car. I sold my successful one that I wrote down. 
I sold it at my last market. And so I didn't have really anything to go off of. So I worked up another one. And I think I need to work up one more to kind of get the final touches. Because um, the beak um, gave me a little trouble this time. Um, but I did the beak. And then I did the eyes. But I think I'll have them do the eyes if they're embroidering. And then embroider the beak. Um, or stitch on the beak. Um, whatever I decide to have for the pattern. But anyhow, that's been taking up some of my time. So this will be released in like a week or a half or so. I think I have it set for the 16th. 16th or 17th um so yeah probably the 17th because i haven't worked on the 16th um but yeah i've been busy working on this getting it finalized i thought i had it written down clearly and then i went to go remake it and i was like what am i even saying i like was jotting it down i guess maybe my son was around so i was trying to hurry because it had like no commas or anything so it was just like one run on sentence i was trying to decipher so uh Hopefully I won't do that again because that was really dumb of me. But anyhow, let's get down to this market breakdown. So for this market, I sold 40 things. Um, there was about probably over 100 vendors. So I showed up. Um, you can start sitting up at 7. I showed up around 8. It was rainy. So I, it was probably a little after 8. And it was just a nasty, gloomy day. There was tons and tons of markets that day all over town and neighboring towns and everyone was canceled because of the rain because um, it was supposed to just rain nonstop all day um, and every other market was outside. So what happened was everyone started calling and seeing if they can get in. I Not everyone, but a lot of people messaged the coordinator that put on my event and she was like, yeah, sure, yeah, sure, yeah, sure. Well, then they started running out of room because I was supposed to be, there was supposed to be two gymnasiums filled and I was supposed to be in one of them because I signed up, you know, over like two months ago. And by the time I got there, that gymnasium was pretty much full. I would have had room to set up, but I would have been kind of squished. Um, and I had a friend of mine doing it and I wanted to be next to her. This was like her second market. So I wanted to be next to her. She was doing, selling macrame. Um, so I was like, she was getting there like shortly after I was as well. And I don't really need long to set up. And I was like, I already know where I'm going to be, blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm thinking that since there were so many people helping set the event up that there wasn't like a list of names, like, oh, so-and-so is in gym A, so-and-so is in gym B. I don't think there was any of that because when I asked in, I walked in and asked where I should set up. I was not asked who I was or anything like that. So. Um, I will give that feedback to the coordinator next time that if, you know, this were to happen again next year, not that I don't really think my sales were hurt in any way. It just made my setup a little bit longer because I had to go, they ended up opening and setting people up in the hallway, which honestly, that's probably where I would have preferred to go would have been in the hallway. And my setup is not really like deep. It is pretty, like, it's not very, like, it's all, you know, my, I only have one table and like two shelves. So I could have taken up, you know, not as much um, depth and I could have spread it out a little longer and I would have been fine in the hall. Um, but the hall was already full as well. So they started opening up another room, but this room was only like, it wasn't, it wasn't that big. Um, I think there was like eight of us in there. Um, now it was like right off the hallway. So the doors were open, the lights were on and people like when they walked by, they noticed the doors open, they noticed vendors were in there and they kind of went in. As they were going from one gym to the other gym because it was like a gym um there was like a laser tag set up for kids and then there was the room i was in and it had like you could go around so there's two doors you could go in and then there was vendors all along the hallway in in front of where i was at um all along towards the gym and then to the other gym there was all those vendors as well so i don't really think my sales were inhibited that much and i had asked um, some people that came by or whatever, you know, how it was, blah, blah, blah. And I asked another vendor that was in the gym that I was supposed to be in. I said, has it been crazy in there? And she said, no, it's been steady, but not like anything crazy. So I don't really think it hurt me at all. I was super worried whenever I set up and I saw where I was going to be. I was like, oh no. But then there was more enough vendors in there that I could get drunk people in there. But that's that. Um, like I said, I'll give feedback to the coordinator if that opportunity presents itself. I have done multiple events and they've all done pretty, pretty well. 
Um, these were the events that I did. This was one of the events I did back in October by the same coordinator that I sold almost a thousand dollars. So, um, and then I sold in the spring with them as well. And I did super well then too. I think I did like 500 in sales and I was still like really new to markets then. So that was super awesome. But anyhow, what did I sell? So, oh, the event started at nine and it ran till two and it went by super fast. Um, but anyhow, so the, my first thing I sold were my, I sold a mini mantle tree and the standard size tree. So that was super, super cool. That, that was the first thing I sold and they were the green color. Um, so the color that I show in my pattern and most of my photos, that was the one, oh, it's right here. Ooh, this color green, this is a partial, uh, large tree, but this was, it was like, you know, the basic green and tan that was the one the color that i sold for both of those it was actually a lady i know she saw it posted on my instagram and she said she knew that i was going to be there and so she literally ran to my booth as soon as she saw me so she's going to put him in her daughter's room so i'm hoping she sends me photos so i can share because that'll be super cute um, so I sold the mini tree for 20 and the original tree for 30 and I actually timed myself today and the mini tree took me 48. It probably would took me about a couple minutes less, but, um, when I was filming the, the timer like fell over, I had my Kindle set up and it doesn't like, I can't turn it like this to get the clock to turn. So I had to stand up like this and the case I have it on, it doesn't really stand up like that, but anyhow, yeah. So I wasted a couple minutes doing that. Um, but yeah, $20, $20 for the mini and it takes about 45 minutes. Now if I batch make them probably be even less. Um, so I think that is pretty good. Um, the original tree I sold for 30 and that one takes me about an hour and a half. It's just slightly bigger. Um, and then we sold a mush pop for 12, a mini turtle for 15, and that was one of the turtles made out of burnout blanket, so a slightly bigger. I sold a mini octo, but that one was made out of sweet snuggles, so I sell those for eight because those are a little bit bigger. Um, and this option I ended up having doing those where you could get it in a tank. If you add three dollars, you could get it in the tank, and the with the pebbles, I think I showed that in the prior video of what I was bringing. Um, and then I sold an axolotl for 18. I only had two axolotls and one of them, it was kind of hard to see. It was that black one. Um, spoiler alert, I did not sell that one, but, um, I sold the one I made out of sweet snuggles and the other one I finished towards the end of the market. So that one did not sell. <clears throat> and then after I sold one of the mini mallards, And then I sold a <laughs> mini octo for five. And then I, so I ended up setting the whale in the $12 bin. I need to time myself to see how long. I don't think that one takes very long, probably like half an hour, if that. And then I ended up selling a turtle in a tank. It was so exciting. Um, I think that is so cute. Um, so it was actually a little boy they came up with. Uh, he came up with his mom. He like really, really wanted it for Christmas. And she's like, no, I'm doing Christmas shopping. Like, no, you don't need it. You don't need it. And he was, she was like, go away. And so she sent him out of the room to go look at other vendors and she ended up getting it for him. And <laughs> it was so cute. I think she got him the whale too. Um, and then I sold a chicken. Now I think this is my first chicken. So the coordinator's daughter, um, always comes up and talks to me for probably like half an hour, like a long time. She's very, very social butterfly. Um, and she bought ended up getting a chicken she got her mom to come back um they have like they've gotten something from me every time i've seen her so she probably has like three or four things so far um but she ended up walking around with a chicken the whole time holding it so people came all over looking for me to buy a chicken <laughs> so she did a little advertising for me <laughs> oh my god i'm gonna kill my husband Okay, sorry, my husband's killing me, being obnoxious. Um, but yeah, so she did a bunch of advertising. People came all over looking for me, trying to figure out where I was because they wanted a chicken. 
Um, and then after that, I sold a chicken keychain, which that is the same chicken pattern. I just made it in pixie dust. So it came out like this big. Um, and I used like a four millimeter hook. The normal Mabel pattern, you use an eight millimeter hook. Um, so yeah, um, I sold that for 10. Another mini Octo, I sold for five. A chicken for 18. Um, a gingerbread man. People love, really love the gingerbread man. I was super happy. That was my pattern. Um, there's a tutorial for that in my, on my YouTube, if you want to make that. Um, and then I sold a chicken and another chicken and I sold those for 18. So those are honestly probably my best money maker. So I just bought, and I'm going to, this is what I'm going to, my goal for the new year. I just bought, um, what's her name? crochet with bay i think she has like a pricing calculator tool and it like breaks down like how much of the yarn cost all this stuff like that and it basically tells you your profit and your most profitable items so um i'm gonna guess it's my chicken because it, they take me about 30 minutes i sell them for 18 versus some of my other things i can't sell that high um so yeah um That'll be interesting to see, but that's gonna. I'm gonna start in the new year, basically, see see if I can get rid of as much as I possibly can, locally after my markets if I have anything left, and then basically start fresh, um, and start using that tool, and I'll keep I'll be able to keep better track of my inventory because otherwise I just have I don't have like a written down list um, because I suck, <laughs> so um, I did not know how well I was gonna do. Um, cause this is my first year doing markets, selling or anything selling crochet related. So, you know, each year we're going to get better. Um, after that I sold the loaf cat, which was the pink one for 15. The, there was a little girl and she was walking around with her mom and she, she really, really wanted it. And then she's like, you know what? And she was like, she was using her own money, but then she wanted to go around and look at everything else and they weren't even gone 10 minutes. And she's like, okay. <laughs> and she came back for the loaf cat. So apparently I had the best stuff in her eyes at least um then another chicken for 18 and then i sold my nutcracker oh my gosh you guys i love that i loved them so much i really need to make myself one so i can put it on my mantle <sighs> because i loved him i really did um and they on they he was like sitting on um i sold out of my chicken so i put him on the bench and they asked actually they're like how much is a nutcracker and i was like 45 and they're like oh it was a husband and wife and i think they had a kid and she was she was pregnant i think or had a newborn or like a little baby anyways um and they kind of were like didn't really say much and then they ended up buying it so that was super cool because i'm sure they were like oh um but he was amazing and then i ended up selling the shark so that was the same pattern as the whale and so i priced him at 10 and then, because he was at a parfait chunky, and I didn't really have anything in my $10 bin, so I was like, mm, let's put that in there. Because um, I had two other things, and I just thought that looked weird. So I went ahead and threw him in the $10 bin, and then they wanted, um, they had got something for their daughter. I think they got a ghost on a swing for their daughter previously, in my October market. Um, their daughter is like an adult. So they were like trying to figure out what else they could get her. And I was like, well, we can probably turn the shark into another car hanger if she wants a different style. Um, and they're like, no, what, you know, just can we get one like that? And they pointed to one of my other keychains. And I was like, yeah. So we ended up putting it on the keychain and I just added $3. So I was like, $3 to add on the keychain. So um, that's just a little tip if you want to have that option available. And the keychains I have are the little ball keychains so, so you can pretty much really quickly whip it onto one of your smaller items so i just have that out in like in front um somewhere where people it's accessible and be like hey you know anything could be a keychain if you wanted to um and then after that i sold the little pig that was 12. i sold the frog keychain and i accidentally sold that for eight it was supposed to be 10 but i was thinking of a baby frog that I sell for eight. I didn't even think about keychain when I rung her up, and I realized after she left, and I was like, whatever. Um, and then I she also bought a chicken for eighteen, and then I sold a mush pop for twelve, and then another gingerbread man for twenty five, and I feel like those I can finish under an hour. I think I'm gonna do one more for my next market. I'm supposed to have a market on Saturday, but it may rain, so I may not go. They said you can go. It's up to you. 
whether you want to go or not. So if it's raining, I'm not going to, it's not going to be worth it. Um, cause it's outside at a food truck and there's like 20 of us. So I'm not going to chance it and have all my stuff get ruined. So, um, I may have a little extra time to par prep for my market on the 16th than I thought. Cause right now I have like 10 new things and it's already Wednesday night. So, um, and then I sold a mini Octo for five and then I sold two more mush pops for 12. And at this point, my booth was hopping. There was people like waiting. So that's always cool. I always get nervous when people wait or they take too long. I'm like, are they going to scare off other people because they don't want to wait? <laughs> I don't know. Um, and then a mini Octo for five. And then I had a lady who bought, sorry, my phone's dying. A lady who bought pumpkin Pete. So Pete with a little pop top um by cable and canvas she bought it for her son at my october market and she reached out to me via email i don't know if i remember if i told you guys this or not i think i told you in the previous clip but anyhow so she sent the her her dad his grandpa we called him pumpkin pete's grandpa in the email thread <laughs> um but Pum, uh, pete's grandpa came and he ended up getting his grandson a ghost of a swing which they had requested that and then he ended up getting a mini turtle and a mini octo for him as well. And then they wanted the shark, but I had sold out the shark because I sent her a little video of what I had. But by the time she replied, I had already gotten the shark already sold. Um, so I'll definitely make some more sharks. Um, just some another more options for small makes. My husky is yelling at me for no reason. So my husband's literally in the living room. Go, go, t go tell your dad. Go tell your dad. Um, and then after that, I sold my last chicken. So I don't even know what time this was, but um, I had someone come after this looking for a chicken, and I sold out. And I was like, I'm all out. So I need to make more chickens for the next time. I had six, and I sold out of all six. So spoiler alert, that was my best seller, um, which I think that's been for, like, my last, like, Four markets is the chicken um and then i sold a leggy froggy for 15 a mini octo for five another mush pop for 12 and then another turtle in a bowl they were getting this for a little gift and then they got another little gift the same people got a baby frog for eight and they were buying this for like a little like toddler or whatever so um the built frog was for the toddler the bowl was for somebody a little older a sibling and then I sold my chicken in the nest. So it was my OG or my actual pattern of this. Ugh, get the buzz. Um, so this was the last thing I sold was one of these. So um, yeah, 40 items total for a grand total of $579. And that's pretty good. I, um, like I said, I was really worried, but I mean, that's a pretty good market considering we had, I had over, 100 vendors for competition for sales now there was like one other person selling crochet but she made like primarily like dolls or like disney characters pokemon and it was all out of acrylic so our style was completely different i don't tip i try to stay away from any licensed characters um just because i don't want to get into that mess i know they would probably sell really well and i don't know I just know there's a lot of controversy about it. So um, I just try to stay out of it for now. If, if it's like a custom order or somebody requests, that would probably be different. Um, but I don't know if I want to do something and bring them to my markets because that's just, uh, yeah. It's a whole nother, whole nother conversation for another time. But so bestsellers, chickens, of course. And then the mush pops sold really well. I think I counted five. I think I brought seven. And then I sold six mini octos. I believe I brought eight. I got lots of compliments on my tree. I only had the large tree left, like the whole market. Had I had more of the original colors, because everyone looked at the large one, but it, I had it priced at $45 and they were like, eh. So I think if I had other colors in my, or more of the original colors, because I had a mint and a pink one. So if, like, you know, if that wasn't your style, then you're not going to buy that. Um, so I think if I had more of the green trees, they would have sold because um, everyone loved the tree. 
Um, it's just a big ticket item. And then I sold two out of three gingerbread. And then, yeah. So just like I said, more small items. Small items are the way to go. Chickens of any sort seem to sell. Turtles are popular. I sold, you know, a handful of those. And then that I didn't end up selling that black axolotl, but I, the way I had it displayed, it wasn't really like where kids could grab it. I had it, I think I have a basket of $15 items and I had it in the basket above. So it was like higher up. So kids couldn't grab it. So, and I feel like you couldn't really tell what it was the way it was sitting. So I'll have that at my next market. And then I finished the other axolotl that I had said that I was hoping to finish the night before. I didn't. I finished it during the market. And I actually made, almost finished it. And then I realized that, you know, trying to multitask and run my market at the same time, I made it with one leg or three legs versus four. I missed a back leg. So I got carried away. Um, so I had to pull, rip it all out. Um, but yeah, so make your chickens do yourself a favor. They don't even have to be like maple patterns. I think just chickens in general of any sorts are going to sell well. So. Yeah, maybe snag this guy if you want. I think this would be super cute if you made it like a jumbo yarn and made it a little shorter so it's like an actual like basket. And maybe I can mod and do the wings differently so you could take the chicken out. I think some little kids would love that. Um, yeah, I think that'd be super cute. Um, but anyhow, yeah, please... Let me know if you'd rather have a longer video or two shorter videos. Um, I may not have a market on Saturday, so I don't know what next week's video is going to be. Um, maybe I'll do a what I crochet in a week type of thing. Um, or like, you know, a week of crochet. I don't know, because I'll have be sharing. I'll be doing this pattern release, and I think I only work one day, so... I don't know what next week's video is going to be if my market it gets canceled. I know I had two videos this week, um, but I won't have enough no-sew patterns worked up to do another one of those. Um, so yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, oh my gosh, I'm going to kill my husband. <laughs> my husband is obnoxious tonight, but anyhow... <laughs> Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!